Attention Starfleet, it is part two of the best there is from the mission log of Star Command Steve. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next mission log. Initializing gameplay now. Okay, we're in. First things first, the station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. Great. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Don't worry, that won't speak to me. Hope you got that grab drive ready then. Tell me about the security checkpoints. Let's Very go. funny. But if you do get into trouble, try and use that quick wit to your advantage. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Alright. To um, not go through this one, you need to go through the one with the hatch, which is right over there. Oh, it's this hatch. Cool. Captain Steve, do you require my assistance? Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. All right. Hold up. This area is for SY920 military only. Okay. Grab my view. I left on the ship. Be right back. Yeah, you do that. You've been to the mess hall? Specialist Okoye is a damn good chef. This is Captain Juan Dayu. And chicken in. And you found the intercom. That's a start. If I'm not mistaken, the maintenance door should be in front of you. If you can find a way to open it, it'll get you past the first checkpoint. I'm not worried. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Anyway, the door will let you access the vents. Go up the vents and to the barracks. You should find a uniform there. The uniform should get you through the checkpoint and to the elevators. We'll talk again once you get to the command bay. Perfect. This one, then this one. No, uh oh, I have to go back one R.
This one does not fit. That one does not fit. This one does fit. This one does not fit. Oh. Huh? Fit, this one doesn't fit. This one fits. This one. This one fits here. Okay, it's this one. And then give me this twofer. Spin me around, Scotty. We're in. Okay. So now I need a uniform. Through the other vents. Here. Okay. Just some showers there. Head back. Okay. How do we get past this guard? Nice. Get in there. Get this. And let's do items. So far, so good. Should be a quick State in and your out. business. I need to report to the command bay for duty. Logging and sin level clearance. Go on ahead. Thank you. the command bay and no alarms or warnings on the comps music to my ears if you found a uniform be sure to put it on they'll provide some cover don't know what you're after but i'm guessing there'll be another checkpoint yep. this far down you might need a clearance code just kill everyone can't use the form i picked up and walk past the guards i can use the uniform i picked up 
and walk my way past the guards. I'm gonna need access if I use the vents. Station. We are of the same mind. No talking, no combat, and no trace. This station has a lot of old arteries. The blood has gone dry, but they still connect to its heart. Look for a maintenance area that should open a path to the archival computers. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located your target. Everything seems to be more on the upstairs area. Uh -huh. It's either sprint or nothing. Like, it's insane. Good. Okay, the hole. Can I take that for the ship? Yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. Conspect route through him on all their matters. The highest ranking officer on the station. Okay. It's funny that it's just receiver. Traces for disease. There's more on this? Go to engine bay number four. You aren't assigned to this level, Ensign. You need to leave. Yep. Leaving now. I don't recognize your face, Ensign. Excuse me. Yeah, I need to figure out how to get over there. I 
I need to go to the archives. I don't know you, Ensign. Am I stuck? Where do I gotta sneak back out? That door is locked. Save digipics. Um, How are the tests for the comms by going? Dr. Vogel has put in a request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. There was something with that doctor. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof. We'll simply monitor the situation at the cargo bay. For now, I've recommended to Dr. Bogle to contact me immediately. But I am your cargo. You're not going without me. Are you really leaving? You are, and I've delivered you just as Degado asked. That being said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. But it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can steal. As a member of the Crimson Fleet, I trust you can handle that. Don't worry, I'm the best thing is. Thought you were the scanning fair warning. I'm gonna have to direct some heat your way. I thought we were in this together. First lesson in being a rookie. You share the loot, but not the risk. Good luck. If you make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. Fun. Okay. Did you not see the sign? Yeah, I saw the sign. So you can see, I need to hand over the comp spike. Do any routine check at the comp spike. I need to access the device. Are you the person in charge of the project? You see 86. Um, I mean, I guess we should ask if I can. Oh, yes. I've been studying decryption of all types for quite a long time. Probably since before you took your first crab jump. Oh, very nice. Signal protocol, quantum ratchet symmetry, interleaving data extrapolation. You name it, I've lectured on it. I've probably forgotten half of it, but I definitely knew it once. Um, I'm doing a routine check with the comps by any access to the device. 
the security team. Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types, but the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. Why are you really telling me this if you didn't recognize technology. me? So, science, security. Scripts on that level is a vast mass reaction. It's no wonder the UC is interested. Let's, uh, let's play it with that one. You sound excited about the potential. And you repeat me that in English. Let's do this one. Yes. It's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not That's that insane. we care about that sort of thing. Outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Sounds like it's not entirely ready. It'd, it'd be a, I'd be a good pilot, I'd love to adventure. Just tell me where the damn thing is. A ship is perfect. You tell person. Be a good pilot. I love yes, adventure. it's not the destination, but the journey that matters. <laughs> Particularly when the destination is death. But Jeez, don't worry. Okay. We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than two percent. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless Marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Hmm. No time. The captain, Jason, is trying to steal the comms back. I need to, need to secure their prototype ship immediately. Spaced. Things go wrong and handle space pretty well, so I'm the perfect test pilot. Uh, Persuade. I'm, I'm one of the new test pilots, actually. Um, let me get back to you. Betray Han, there's no time. The captain of the Jade Swan is trying to steal the comm spike. And you secure the prototype ship immediately. Hmm, it's this or this. If things go wrong, you handle it pretty well. So I'm the perfect space pilot. Uh, do I do? Do I play it as on the test spot, or do I play security? Um, let's see if we can try to be the test pilot. Hmm, you do seem to have increased resistance to hypoxia. I can tell by your breathing patterns and your cavalier attitude. We need to get you on the next test flight immediately. You'll Let's need a uniform it. and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Nataro's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Space suit. There we go. Taking that. Um, pilot space suit. All right.
long way. Oh, I need to talk to the guy again. Where is he? project test flight to get on guys but I don't know how to get out of here For duty pilot? Go. Yeah, I got a test flight coming up. Access granted. Be sure to head to the control center and schedule the flight. And good luck. Authorized for flights. Just slide from there. Things were a little too loose under Commander Woods. With Commander Vitara, we had strict checkpoints, patrols, and better security. I was the kid who ate too much heat. Prototype ship. All right, we're on the prototype ship. Take off of this bad boy. <laughs> Prototype ship, you are cleared for takeoff. We'll begin the test on your departure. This ship's dope. Recording test flight data. Please adhere to the scheduled flight plan and let us know if you have any issues. Oh, we're gonna do that. It's going to be too far for us to do anything. Mm, 
Okay. Nope. Hit this. Back. Alright, I got to get to... You. There. I have to jump... Here. Somewhere I've been before. Yes, jump. Jump over here now. Oh, I just want to go to the key. Why can I not? The key. Jump on this. Behind, remember nice me? The non Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. Gonna dump down you, still got a lot to learn. You weren't much help, not that I needed it. Um, I mean, she did get me in, so I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy. You've earned more than your fair share already with that comm spike. Person is as good as ours. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I have to admit, the way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. Sounds good, let's go. Let's go and get some creds. We may not have official security on the key. Hey, buddy. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comm spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. Yeah. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. This console was built into the ship and didn't really have a choice. Thought the fleet could use some extra spare parts. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Well. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from one guy is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Yeah, appreciate now, it, bro. On to the business at hand. Yep. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comm spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me Let's posted. Go. All right, that leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jenardyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. Okay. They get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. 
I have faith that Jazz can get that tech to work. I worry that everything is hinging on Jazz getting the tech work. <laughs> um, I will You damn her. right she can. She's going My to. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away. You bet away, that she man. wouldn't get it started? Now, why don't you give us the info on our neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had How her lovely. deft little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle nice. is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. I'm sure we'll get a lunch tonight. I like the part about splitting the cash. Don't worry. When Grixis' legacy is aboard the key, we'll be splitting plenty of cash. Until then, I want you to do everything Estelle asks. Follow her instructions to a letter. She is valuable to the fleet. But if there's numbers? You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. Ooh. I'd say don't keep her waiting. But chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy. And we cannot afford any screw-ups. That's what I'm talking about. Some real money. All right. Absolute power. We're going to be traveling to the Neon. Um, but I think that's going to do us in just for today. Um, I hope you're not wasting time on small talk when there are jobs to run. Hey, listen. I will say goodbye to these guys however I want to say goodbye to them, okay? They are my Starfleet and they are my crew. I want to thank you guys again for tuning in watching for another day of Starfield. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you like the gameplay. And there's plenty of more to come. It's been Star Command Steve. Over and out.